Hey guys, welcome back to Snack Time. My name is Ben, and in today's video, we're going to be going over the different Microsoft authentication methods, and I'm going to be showing you which one of them is vulnerable to token theft. We're also going to be covering Microsoft's newest authentication method, passkeys, with Microsoft Authenticator. Let's go ahead and jump in and see which of these methods is going to be best for you. So you're going to be seeing two views. On your right hand side is what the threat actor would see using evil nginx. On the left is what the victim would see as they're authenticating. So first up on our test, we have a really strong password. We're going to put our username into this nginx phishing site and we're going to punch in our password. And as soon as we hit yes, you can see that our tokens are intercepted, showing us our nice long password here, which made no difference to the bad guy. I can list this session and see the token right here. That's all I need to sign in. But I also have their password here too. All right, next is SMS. It'll send a code to our phone that we can type in. Once again, we've intercepted the tokens. And if I view 28 here, I see that I have the token. I can also see the MFA method and the password. Now it's time to step up to a little bit more secure method. Let's use the Authenticator app, sending us a two digit code. Okay, once again, we are back at our phishing page. Let's punch in our username, our super complicated password. And now on my phone, I'm being prompted to enter this code. Let's do that. Yes. Now I'm signing in. And again, for a third time, all authorization tokens are intercepted. I look at my sessions. I've captured username, password, and again, token. Next up, we can't give out what we don't have. We are going to try passwordless authentication. To set this up, we're going to go into the mobile app on our phone and set up sign in without a password. Now, I don't want you to get this confused with pass keys, completely different things. And I want to show you why here. All right, now we're back at our Nginx sign in screen. Let's go ahead and hit next here. And instead of a password, I'm going to click use app instead. On my phone, I'm getting a prompted to enter a code. Say, yes, it's me. Do my thumbprint. And now I'm signed in. And again, all authorization tokens intercepted. Let's look at our sessions. You can see a little bit of difference here. If I go to 31, which is my most recent one, I can see that I captured a username, but I did not capture a password. However, I did capture a token, and this is all that I really care about. This will get me into the door. Now we're going to move on to our more secure methods, and that includes using a USB key or FIDO key. And then lastly, we'll be testing out Microsoft's pass keys through the Authenticator app. All right, here we are back at our Evil Engine X sign in. Let's punch in our username. And instead of a password, we're going to be using our security key. I'm going to click on a user face fingerprint or pin. I'm going to select my security key. I'm going to put in my pin. This is something you know. That's one factor. And now what? Well, I didn't get a token. I'd get an error message, which is kind of confusing, but definitely didn't get a token. I can hit try again. And That's not right. So if I go back to my evil engine X on the, on the right hand side here, I can do a sessions and I can view my session. The last one I picked up was 32, just a bunch of random text here and no token that successfully worked. Did not give our bad guy 
any sort of method on gaining access. I do want to show you what this will look like if you successfully signed in though. So if we open up a new tab and we actually go to office.com and go to sign in. Punch in our username. I'm going to use my security key. Next, one, two, three, four, five, six. Super secure. And now it's asking me to touch my key. That's something I have. It's my second factor. And there we go. I'm signed in. So we can see that the FIDO token did its job, prevented the bad guy from getting my token. And now let's move on to the main reason that you're here, and that's to see what happens when we use pass keys with Microsoft Authenticator app. All right, we'll enter our username. And now instead of using a password, we'll use our face and thumbprint, similar to the Fido keys, except this time we'll select iPhone and Android. And now we're going to take our phone and scan this QR code. And on the right hand side, we can see a very similar prompt to what we got when we used a Fido security token. It's encrypted, not really anything useful there. The username is obviously incorrect. And if we look at the sessions, we can see we're not getting a good username. We're not getting a good password. We're also not getting a token. So very similar to hardware Fido keys, we're not able to authenticate. What I want to do is I want to show you what it looks like when we do authenticate with Microsoft servers. So when we are signing in to Microsoft, we're going to be using our authenticator Fido key again. Hit next. And now we're going to scan this with our phone. And once it's been scanned and we've approved on our phone, we can now see that Microsoft is letting us sign in normally. Something to keep in mind that the requirements for this pass key is pretty steep. You do have to have a very recent phone with up-to-date operating system. And there's even a possibility that your manufacturer may not support this. Something to keep in mind when you are looking to implement this. Now, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.